All right, this is a very fun new stitch we can learn. This is called the bamboo stitch, and it creates a really pretty stitch that is quite dense, and I thought it would really knit up pretty for a hat. So this video is going to first show you exactly how to do this lovely stitch, and then if you're interested in using this stitch to knit a hat, I'll have full instructions on how to knit this full hat with this bamboo stitch at the end of the video. So let's get started. <music> All right, so this bamboo stitch is a really pretty unique stitch. It is uh, kind of looks like a ribbing stitch, but these fun little horizontal stripes make it look like uh, bamboo stalks. So it's a really pretty stitch that I thought would knit up really nice for a hat. So let's take a look at this stitch for the purpose of this demonstration. I am using a US 8 size needle and just some worsted weight yarn. And you, for this stitch, you will want to cast on an even number of stitches and that would be the case for working it in the round or working it flat, either way. So here's the basic stitch, it's fairly simple. It's just a two row uh, repeat pattern. The first row is the bamboo stitch specifically. So that, and you can see I've done a few rows here already um, of the bamboo. So it's, it starts with a yarn over. So the first thing you do is a yarn over, just simply wrap your yarn over your right hand needle. Then we're gonna do two knit stitches, regular knit stitches, one, two, then we're going to grab that yarn over that we did here, three stitches back on our right needle, and pass it over those two knit stitches. And there you've got your very fun bamboo stitch. And so you will just continue that till the end of the round. Let's do it again. Yarn over, knit two, and then pass that yarn, or that yarn over stitch over those two knit stitches, and that is bamboo stitch. So let's do that all the way to the end of round one and then I will show you what to do on round two. Okay now that I finished round one with that bamboo stitch I'm ready to start round two. I've got my marker. So round two is very basic and simple. It's just all knit stitches. Easy right? Just knit all stitches. Now I am knitting in the round so that is why round two is knitting all stitches. If you were to knit this stitch flat on straight needles, round two would be all purl. So make sure that you uh, think about that if you're trying to incorporate this stitch into one of your other projects that is knitted flat. Make sure that on round two you are purling all your stitches. So that is basically how to do this beautiful bamboo stitch. If you want to see what the stitch looks like on the back side, it's always interested to see what's what things look like reversed. It's actually kind of a pretty pretty pattern on the reverse side too. So you, it, this could make for an interesting, you know, reversible type scarf as well. So now let's stick around if you want to incorporate the stitch into a hat. All right, well, so let's talk a little bit about the construction of this hat using this bamboo stitch. So for this particular hat, I am using a US size eight round circular needle in a 16 inch size and just a regular worsted weight yarn and I've casted on 80 stitches for this hat. Now that produces a fairly small snug hat, which um, seems to fit well for me. If you want a little bit larger hat, there'll be instructions, uh, specific instructions for that in the written pattern that's in the description below. And that talks about how to make a medium or a large size hat by casting on either 88 or 96 stitches and how to do the decreases for that. So let's talk first about the ribbing. I uh, start cast it on 80 stitches, like I said, and I am doing a two by two ribbing. So knit two, then purl two, and repeat around the row. But what I decided to do for this particular ribbing is to do a twisted rib. And what that basically means is that instead of the regular knit stitches for the knit two, yeah, I saw a regular knit stitch would be knitting this way, right through the stitch in this fashion. I am going to knit through the back loop and that means just inserting my needle through the back loop of the knit stitch and knitting it that way for both of those two knit stitches. So I will do it the knit through the back loop for the knit two and then back to uh, the regular purl stitches for my purl two. And what that does is that it twists those knit stitches so those knit columns um, kind of pop out a little bit. So I just thought that would make a really interesting 
ribbing for this particular hat. But you could, of course, just do a regular two by two ribbing that is up to you. So I'm going to continue in this fashion for this two by two twisted rib stitch. And I'm gonna continue this until the ribbing measures about two inches from the cast on, and then we will go to the bamboo stitch. So I will see you then. Okay, I've done a couple inches of my ribbing stitch and now I have started on the bamboo stitch. I've done a couple rows here. So as I just, uh, earlier in the video, we talked specifically about how to do this bamboo stitch. So just a refresher on that quick. The bamboo stitch um, is a yarn over, knit two stitches, and then we take that yarn over on our right needle that we did and pass it over those two stitches and that is the repeat that you will do for the entire row. Yarn over, knit two, and pass that yarn over over those knit two stitches. So that is row one in every odd number row um, doing the bamboo stitch, and then your even number rows are going to be all knit. So let's continue in this fashion with this pattern of the bamboo stitch, and we will do it see how long this is. I, yeah, I think this is about seven inches or so before we start doing the decreases. So if you wanted a little bit longer hat or, or taller hat, you can uh, knit up that bamboo stitch for a little bit longer. So let's do that and then we'll talk a little bit about how to switch to double pointy needles and do the decreases. Okay, my hat is about seven inches from my cast on row. So I am ready now to begin to do the decrease rounds for this hat. So we are going to be decreasing 16 stitches for the first round. The next round will be just a knit row, and then 16 de decreased stitches for the next round, etc., until we just have a few stitches left um, at the top. Eventually, we will have to switch to double-pointed needles when we have too few stitches on the circular needle to comfortably knit with. Now, if you prefer, you can add a stitch marker every 10 stitches, because we're gonna be doing two decreases every 10 stitches. So if that helps you know when to do the decrease, go ahead and put in a marker every 10 stitches. But if uh, if you don't need those, just follow along very carefully with the decrease written instructions that I have in my description below. Because since we want to maintain this bamboo stitch throughout the decreases, every once in a while on the decrease rounds, we have to throw in a knit stitch just to make these um, this bamboo stitch continue um, properly throughout the decreases. So just follow along closely with those dis uh, instructions so you know which, um, what stitches to do for those decrease rounds. So let's go ahead and do the first round of decreases. And that's gonna begin with a slip, slip, knit decrease. So we're gonna slip, slip the stitch, and then transfer both of those stitches back to the other needle and then knit through the back loop those two stitches together. So that is the next first decrease that we're gonna do. Then we're going to do three of the bamboo stitches. So yarn over, knit two, pass that slip stitch over, and we're gonna do that two more times. Alright, now we are going to do a knit two together for our second decrease. So knit these two stitches together. And that little sequence, slip slip knit, three of the bamboo stitches and knit two together is what we were going to do all the way around to the end of this first row. So I will do that and then we'll come back for row two. Okay, round two of the decrease is again just going to be a solid knit row. So we're going to just knit across the entire row or round and then the next row will be another decrease round and to just follow again follow those instructions in the description below on which stitches to do because though that the next decrease round will include a couple extra knit stitches in there in addition to the decrease stitches and the uh, bamboo stitch and in a couple rows here I'm going to switch to DPN so I'll show you how we do that and then we'll just continue with that fashion until we get to the end. All right, I've completed a couple more or one more decrease round and now I'm getting a kind of tight on my circular needle. So I'm thinking this might be a good time to switch to uh, my number eight, US eight size double pointed needles. And you can do this a couple different ways. You can, uh, the next row that I need to do is just a, a plain knit row. So you, what you could do is just start knitting with the double pointed needles. 
um, from the circular needle and do it that way. But if you would feel more comfortable, you can always just take them and just manually move them first to your double pointed needles before you knit that row. So let's do it that way um, this time. I've got 48 stitches now at this point, so I think I'm gonna put 16 stitches on my three double pointed needles. So let's move them all just to our double pointed and then we'll continue to knit with our double pointed needles to the end. Okay, now that I've got all my stitches on my DPNs, I'm going to knit my next row, which is just a one knit row, uh, now using my DPNs. And I have two more decrease rounds to go after this before I end up with just a few stitches left on my needle. And then we'll just weave those stitches in with my dar darning needle and wrap it up. All right, I've got one more decrease round to do, and that is just gonna be a knit two together all the way around um, for my very last row that I'm gonna do before we can wrap it up. So let's do this last row together. I'm gonna knit two together with my DPN still. Knit two, and we're just gonna do that all the way around the entire round for these last few stitches. All right, now we've got eight stitches left, so now we're just going to cut a tail, weave it onto our, thread it onto our tapestry needle. And now we're just going to remove those stitches from their needle and slide them onto our tapestry needle, one at a time. Close up that gap by pulling tight and then insert your needle through that center to the inside of your hat and I like to kind of that last little round of stitches that I went through I like to go through it one more time with my needle just to make that gap nice and securely closed And then you're done. You can snip your yarn and weave in the ends. And we've got a beautiful finished hat with this really nice bamboo stitch. So I hope you give it a try. Either try the bamboo stitch with some of your, uh, your own creative projects or make this really fun hat. So thanks for watching everybody. I hope you found this helpful. If so, please give me a like and don't forget to subscribe to receive notifications of new videos all about knitting tips and stitches and creative patterns like this one. Thanks for watching. Happy knitting!